What is up ladies and gents, we are back. I'm the Guitarist562 and I do video game guides and walkthroughs and in today's video it's going to be a short one but a quick one. I wanted to show you guys what's going to happen for global release. So on full launch these servers are going to be available for East. I'm going to have six of my guys join all of these servers to recruit. We are currently on the AMO server and having a great time dominating along with our alliance. And I need you guys, if you want to play along with the guitarist, you can come over here from over here. I believe you can go from full launch to Amos, but I can't go from early access backwards. That's just how it works. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention, I'm going to confirm tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But I'm going to have Trauma Unit X, Y, Z, etc. A recruit in all of these different guilds to play on that specific server if you want more casual. I have two, ser two guilds full, almost full basically on this server. And I'm going to be making more guilds uh, to have into the discord to join um for ex you know excessive pvp content con uh content a lot of people are competitive on these servers more so than this some people are going to compete on this one but most of the hardcore sweats are going to be here anyway anyway what i want you to do is for you to actually have an easy time you want to go to the channel go ahead and then check out any video that i have currently and once it starts to play, mute it because you don't want to hear that. And then go down to the very bottom and you're going to see that I have a Discord link here. Once you click that Discord link, you should have an easy time to get into the Discord. It's going to tell you if you want to join the Guitars 562 Discord. And then go ahead and hit yes. Once you go ahead and connect to that portion i want you guys to pick the right roles because when you pick your role it needs to be the throne and liberty role afterwards i can redirect you to some of the best public information not guild based public information on how to get to level 50 within less than 10 year, 10 hours i know they nerfed the xp com compared to beta so it's a little bit harder but sub you know if you follow this guide it'll give you a, a comprehensive walkthrough when i did with one of my crossbow daggers to get there it doesn't matter what weapon that you choose um you can still follow this guide along copy the green build um it's a universal copy with your own personal green builds go ahead and copy with uh afterwards i have a universal blue build i have this one as public as well this is the green build i sent most of my guild before they switched over to blue to immediately go straight into pvp content to have some fun they got a lot of kills with it it's a lot of fun don't question the build don't say well i want to spec for like range magic evasion it does not matter because you're going to switch from green to blue quickly and from blue to purple within like two to three weeks like for the, within the first month you'll be fully decked out in purple so optimizing for a green build doesn't make any sense this is just your your starter build afterwards um i want you to go ahead and just follow along here and if you're curious to see what the timeline is going to be like for um the guilds on the global launch access it'll be here this is guild exclusive so i'm not going to go ahead and share that um but when you join the guild you can go ahead and get that information otherwise feel free to boost the server with three boosts away from getting um I'll, I'll basically be able to make a link it's probably gonna be discord.gg slash trauma unit but other than that i want you guys to have an easy time i really want you guys to enjoy this game because i definitely do i've always loved it in korea this is what I, i'm currently using now i'm gonna go ahead and update this to my actual blue build these are just filler pieces my evasion dropped from like 1200 down to like 794 and I'm going to go ahead and switch and show you guys that I am going to make another alt, hoping that the third alt can be available tomorrow. But otherwise, I have two level 50 alts already. One for uh, shot calling and one for just helping people in dungeons, which is going to be crossbow dagger. Crossbow dagger is going to be the best dungeon, you know, grinding class in the game. But other than that, I want you guys to enjoy this game. Do not you know reduce the ego and go straight into a guild that's going to help you there's a ton of guilds that have a ton of free information that have already gone through this there's excelsior there's a trauma unit there's um i believe what was the name of the, the hp guilds um ethereum was extremely competitive go ahead and check out their discords so you can get access to it and there's also a, a bunch of applications rolling in so not not just on my guild but then also an excelsior guild that's already full they basically have three guilds full with active pvpers i'm basically only limiting it to one guild but it looks like so many people are applying i might branch out and make three more guilds so i need you guys to just follow those easy steps to get in there because i want you guys to get information and before you question all the information 
it's easy to follow along. I don't want you coming in here with the questions if you haven't read this. I am a very nice guy once we do it for PvE, but for PvP, you have to be a strong leader and strict. Otherwise, things are going to fall through the cracks. So please do me the service of reading all of this before you even ask a question. I have a bunch of free information here for me, the classes, DPS, and a healer. Just straight in the Discord. I know some classes are missing, and that's because I only focused on the meta classes for PvP. There's a lot, and I just most classes are just gonna be like 20 tanks, 20 healers, 20 staff daggers, or 20 uh longbow daggers, and there's like some filler classes in between that are just kind of strange. Crossbow daggers in there too, but just not as much. But um, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to give you a recap, and I'm gonna upload some more um how to PvP content guides in the future. But I'm also gonna go live stream tomorrow from 1 through 50 on my alt. I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow following my own guide. Uh, so if you wanna be there, you can follow along with me as I do it. I am not gonna slow down. I am gonna answer, I am gonna answer questions. And again, I'm sorry if I'm talking so fast, but there's just so much information for me to share. And I know you guys are gonna have a lot of fun. And one of the things I do that you guys are always wondering for this is uh, basically, um, basically what I wanted to say is, uh, if you guys want to get your PVP, um, I mean, some settings in for like people that are struggling with graphics cards, this is some settings I did to make it easy for you guys. Not everyone has these settings. Um, most people have it on high. I can have it on high on videos, but if you have horrible settings when you start, I've noticed one thing that helps is to turn this off and drop your resolution down to 40%. It's going to make your game look like a potato, but I guarantee you, you're not going to have any stuttering or anything like that. But otherwise, if you have a nice PC and you actually want to put your settings up, you can go ahead and optimize for 100%, bring this up to ultra performance or quality, and then now your settings are definitely going to change. So go ahead and now you can see the details on your actual character where it's not looking blurry. But otherwise, turn that off and make your you know experience a lot better. You know, I can go ahead and put this at medium, high, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, why do that when you want want to optimize for PvP? You know, just keep it quality if you can handle it, keep it 100 percent if you can handle it, but otherwise just drop the resolution a little bit. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys. Hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications on because it helps me out a ton to let you guys stay informed and mute the notifications in the Discord server if you get a lot. But just if you're in the guild, keep those notifications on. I don't want you to leave the Discord. I'm not going to turn away people anymore. I felt bad after kicking about 120 people from my guild. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer you guys out over to another guild. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, stay blessed.